Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we've moved the timeline ahead slightly just to get most of our mechs back because we need to refit that Wolverine. So let's have a look at our mech base. We did really we did really well the last uh, mission we pulled off. Um, took on that Banshee and the Annihilator. Kind of came out of there lucky, but we did lose the one side of the Wolverine. Uh, not too worried though because everything that we have we can replace. So if we go here, we got our extra boom stick which I'm shocked that we have this many extra, but uh, you know, that's fine. And then we do have, if we go down here, spiked fist that we can replace. So uh, that is it, that's all we need to do for this guy. And it's only gonna be eight days, so let's confirm this. Right. And now we do have a bit of cash left, so let's have a look at just fixing this spider up here. Um, patchwork materials, spike fist, spike wrecking ball, uh, repairing this will cost us 73000 uh, Let's strip everything off it. Uh, yeah, let's give it a quick repair too. We got the time. We're probably just going to drop it in storage anyway. I think that Shadowhawk is going to be the second melee mech for the Lighter Lance. Um, so let's go forward in the timeline here real quick. And we'll get the Wolverine back. Uh, I guess she's got to find another place to read. Sorry, girl. Okay, let's get that Wolverine back. All right, so I've got just the mission for us today. First thing we do, let's have a look at our mech warriors, just to see if we have anything in our main lance that we can raise up here. So cold metal, we're still working on stuff. Yeah. Hickory, ah, yeah, perfect. So I'm thinking we're going to go this route with her. Um, I think taking the uh, Warlord ability is actually going to really help out. So we're going to do that with her. And we're going to confirm. Training complete. And yeah, pylon. Commander. Uh, still working on stuff down here for him. Right here. And recoil. Um, bonus to sprint, I think, probably is the best way to go right now with this guy. Uh, we do need the extra speed. However, better sensors might be a good good thing, too, for this upper lance. Um, but I think the plus 10 max sprint, I think, is really going to help out with him. So we're going to go this route. Training confirmed, Commander. All right. So we'll worry about the other guys when we get their lance going. But right now, let's go to the command center and contracts. So we're going to take a, a favor to regret. Um, it's a coalition lance, high tonnage lance, hitting planet far. Probably going to have another supporting lance coming up behind. So it'll be a double lance battle. Um, this is a good uh, opportunity to test out our new bushwhacker loadout. And we're going to go full salvage on this since we do have enough for the end of the month financial report. So let's accept this. And standard lance, and let's deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. Wow. Look at this place. It's really, uh. What's the word? Green. <laughs> so, um. I got a feeling they're going to have reinforcements from this side over here, which is normally the case. So we're going to do what we always do, and we're going to move forward and head up here to the right. Yep. Ready for order. Let's get uh, recoil up here. Understood. Now in the comments section, um, it was suggested that I have a look at uh, recoil here, because he misses a lot. So he might have something like unlucky as one of his uh, um, pilot quirks, so I may have to check that out. Uh, if he's unlucky, well, we're kind of still stuck with him. I am loyal to my mech warriors, so I'm not going to flush him out of the lance just if he's unlucky, but it would know, would help me to know that. Although he did really good against the Annihilator the last battle. Okay, let's get the missile platform up here. Can't wait to try out these this uh, new loadout. I think the pinpoint damage... Double 60s and a 50 is really going to help out against heavier mechs. Yeah, I hear vehicles. Yeah, I hear them. Gladiator. Okay, we got to take this guy down before he gets close. That's a lot of armor. Holy crap. Well, an AC-20 hit to the head would take care of him pretty quick. Uh, never did increase my ammo. 
Probably should have done that. Uh... Not going to fire this turn. I think we're going to hold off for a minute. We might only be dealing with three guys up here. 50, 45, and the Gladiator, which is what? 75? Yeah. And then got two vehicles there. I don't know how many more we're going to have. want to make all my AC-20 shots count. We almost ran out last time, but we had enough. Uh, we're going to reserve. Holding for the right opportunity. Got lots of evasion, with the exception of the Zeus. In a way, I kind of want that gladiator to get a little closer. I do want to attack him from behind. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to chip through this armor. Like a, a 320 in the torso. Solaris spikes. This is going to be a really tough guy to kill. So you got to be very, very careful of that. Let's reserve again. Alright. The Solaris spikes, I think, means he's going to take less damage against him, too. He's got two, four. TSMs. He's got claws too. Well, looks like he's giving us his backside. He barely even moved. Um, huh. It's only two vehicles so far. Well, Confirmed. let's get this sucker started. Yeah, we'll fire everything into his backside. Wow, 15 points. Better than nothing, I guess. Another vehicle coming up. Yeah, what can I do you for? Yeah. Let's get the green targets. I'm hoping this evasion is really going to help us here and stay away from this guy getting us. So, fire everything on this guy's backside. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Good start. Down to 73. You can't get close. Twenty-three percent chance there. Can we got a direct line of sight anywhere? Not really. Let's go over here. Still only 32. So let's get down in here for now. Can't really see anybody, but we do need to be up here. Oh, somebody back there. That's probably like a hundred tonner. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Uh, golly gee. Let's just get up in here. Too many turns of not shooting, but we're okay. Can we get a tail shot on him? We can. 51%. Let's try and punish this guy early. I know we're moving in dangerously close, but... I'm gonna Warlord this guy. Shoot at his backside. Fire. Well, two hits. Nice. He's got very little internal structure. <gasps> Is that a rifleman? No. Thought maybe it was a rifleman there for a second. Centurion. 
I was hoping it was a rifleman. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, it's, nothing's light damage. Not in this battle. Turning our back to the enemy, but we gotta take our shot on this guy as fast as we can. Locked on for physical attack. Is that a CT hit? It certainly was. Boomstick coming up. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, you're liking that guy. Losing lost of armor. Yeah, you're gonna be leaving in a second here. Uh, we're within kill range of this guy. So, I can do. yep, there certainly is. That's not an optimal kill range, but this is. Gotta take the chance with the offensive push. Well, pretty damn good. He should go down next turn. Down to 21 in the one torso. Gonna give these guys some punishment here. Can't get to the back of that guy. But I can certainly move up and target this guy. And let's do this. Let's use it right here on this guy. I want that Ultra 10 gone. Oh, nice. 26 left in the CT. Yeah, good luck with that. My big fear is wondering where this guy's gonna go. Do we know the way to this guy back here? We don't. Find out in a second here. Yep, 100 tons. Gladiator can jump. That's okay, you're getting out of here. You are not going to be there next turn. You performed a critical function. I'm here. And now you need to get out of there. Move back here. And we can probably just go with the two of these guys. Nice. <laughs> Keep moving forward, buddy. There we go, it's a bit better angling. We could just shoot wild on this guy. Got really low chances to hit, so let's just do it. Ah. Nice shot. Come on, buddy. You know you can do it. You know you can do it. Take this guy down. Come on. Yep. There we go. Okay, number one threat's off the board. We almost got him that first turn, too, so that was, that was pretty good overall. Blackjack 2, eh? LBX. Um.
I'm gonna pull back into the trees, get my stability back, and we're gonna fire on this guy using everything. Whoa, not quite enough. Not quite enough. Down to 14. I think recoil should be able to take him out next turn. We'll get recoil going first. This hunter tunner still got to go. Two PPCs in at large. I'm thinking it's probably, if I had to guess, a Marauder 2. Not going to be able to keep up that firing for much longer, though. All right, Recoil, you're first. Bastana! Okay, let's see what that guy does. I was hoping he would hit the CT, but... Oh, he's going to melee. Lovely. 24. Could have been worse. He has the double AC-10, so... Okay, let's go after this guy. Oh, nice torso hit. Yeah, I missed with the tag. Can't have everything. Bushwhacker's left side's taking a pounding now. Uh, that's a. It is a marauder too. Look at all these bonus weapons, man. Lots of armor, too. We gotta draw him in. Let's get down in the valley with this guy. Um, and let's go with everything. Well, I can't go with everything. Can go with the two, though. I should probably do an offensive push on him. Uh, such a low chance to hit, though. Let's just fire. Firing. There we go. Mech destroyed. So we got to get the Zeus within AC twenty range of that uh, Marauder two. Good thing the vehicles are moving up nice and slow. Assault vehicle, heavy vehicle, and a medium, it looks like. So, we're going to do a vigilance here. Because we're going to sprint. Uh, and I want to make sure that... Um, I don't, I'm not in, unstable. Because these guys are going to be shooting at me. So, I'm going to fire at this guy and dump everything into him. Here comes the Mad 2 now. This guy's got 48 and 15. He's coming within pylon range. It's a good thing that guy's pretty inaccurate. Okay, let's get, um... Waiting for order. Let's get you over here. Fire on the side of this guy. Maybe we get lucky and take that torso. Yeah, not really. Not really. That's okay. You can shoot my back armor because I'd rather save the front for the Marauder. Uh, Pylon. Let's get Hickory. Can we get up this hill? We can't really. Problem is, if she moves out to see this guy, they're going to see her unless we kill him.
Marauders in pylon range, but I think I want to do this guy off. Kill him first. Roger that. There goes his whole left side. He's going down. Almost done. Tagged him. 49 left. That's a hickory kill. Hickory dickory dock. A couple thunderbolts right in your center torso. Aye, aye. Acknowledge. Aye, aye. Engaging there we go. Tango down. down to eight turns of thunderbolt ammo. Get up here. We gotta push this Marauder 2 really badly now. I want it gone before we face these vehicles. Oh. Blippity blip. Commander. Uh, do we, uh, we're not in range with Pylon. Yeah. On the move. I'm really hesitant to do this, but we got to get in on this guy, so let's do it. Uh, we're just going to fire straight on him. Okay, good start. Just a vedette. He says as the vedette hits me again. Damn it. Just an AC5. Alright, Hickory. I'm here. Got our Warlord back again. Really bad ch chance to hit from up there. Still the same. Slightly better. We got Warlord though, so... Let's get in the woods. Let's go back here. Hopefully they can, hopefully the Marauder 2 can't see her from there. Gonna Warlord confirm. Dump everything on this guy. Fire. Ah. I was really hoping for more stability damage to this guy than anything. I don't look like it's gonna happen though. Let's get right in here. Yeah, we'll fire everything. I want to force him to, to walk next turn. That'll give us the best chances to hit. I'm going to save my Warlord. And firing everything straight in the guy's front. I'm saving my Warlord because we're going to be coming around from behind him next turn. And I want to use it there. Oh! I had a sneaky feeling he'd try to do that. He's starting to take punishment. Still got lower back armor though. Okay, so they got four vehicles back there, two assaults. One of them's obviously an LRM carrier. All right, pylon, you, you start the sucker off. Attack the guy from behind, please. He didn't move, so he's about to be punished. That was a leg hit. Wow. Okay. Yes, come in. 
Busting out. Let's get this guy in the back. Okay, torso. Nicely done. Standing by. Let's do this. I'm um, not going to go with Vigilance. Normally I would, but I think she's in a position where she's safe enough. We don't need it right now. Oh, nice shooting. The turns are really working out in our favor this time. We could try and take this leg. We can get green though, so let's get green. Confirming the Warlord. And we're going to do an offensive push. And we're going to target this torso and fire. There it is, folks. Good kill. Let's take these vehicles out and go home. They got me pissed off. Okay, Wolverine, recoil next. I'm gonna use this hill as a defensive position. Figure out which way they're going. Yeah. Pick them off one at a time. It's a good thing we get that extra turn where we can cool down here. Aye, aye. Just gonna move up slightly and brace. Get our stability back. I should, re I should look at reloading out this uh, Zeus. It'd be nice if we can get a clan AC-20. Then I can get like a stealth armor and stuff on this guy. Take out the Pharaoh. Alright, recoils, do your job, buddy. Ooh. Bust an Uh Let's get into here. I can't stop saying that now. Axel? Oh, AC-20 Devils. This guy's like meat for, uh, sure is. He's meat for pylon. Just gonna fire everything. The Vedette's having second thoughts. Don't blame him. Oh, we can't melee him. Oh, <gasps> really? Soften them up. Here they come. Okay, two hits. Jeez, man. Good to go. Let's give them something to worry about. Fire and everything. Yep, good luck with that guy. Alright, what do we got over here? That's that missile launcher, right? Heavy missile carrier. LRM-20s. Alright, let's fire these on them. That should do it. No, I should... I spoke too soon! 11 points! See, should never open my mouth. And a demolisher, of course. What else would it be? Oh, okay. Use your missiles, buddy. Use those missiles. Oh, he's got rotary AC-5s. A pair of those would be nice. TTS and direct. That's respectable. 
Respectable, that's for sure. Okay, what do we got for armor on this guy left? Yeah, not bad. I'm here. Let's get into here. Let's move. Yeah, let's warlord this up. Because we can. Fire on the axle. Ugh. It's hoping for a kill there. Fidette's barely got any armor. Uh, let's get pylon on this. Yes, Commander. On this guy. Let's go in from this side. Seems weird, but uh, we need to get some running on him. Better chance to hit this side. And kill, I mean, on this side. 210. Nice. So that guy's gone. Reporting. One less vehicle. What's up, Commander? So I may take that devil's AC twenty. Hey, let's see what this baby can The rotary fives would be nice too. I don't know who we're gonna stick them on though. Fire everything on this guy. Firing full compliments on him. Wow. Definitely gotta check his quirks. So that's the demolisher. He did not move. Um, so let's multi target this. And ATM on B, everything else to A. Ah, not bad. There we go. Okay, pylon should be able to kill the Bedad. Well, he is an ace pilot. Okay. Uh, Hickory. Actually, you might be able to kill that Vedette. Confirmed. Then we can use the other two on the demolisher. So let's fire you on him. Wow, two missiles missed. Really? 62 left on the front. Um... Uh, And it's fire on this guy's front. Still not enough. What's up, boss? Let's just do that. Targeting for physical attack. Well, that guy's dead. Thank God the Demolisher is not uh, the AC-20 version, but he's still deadly with those uh, dual rotary auto cannons. Yep. Uh, we're going to Vigilance. Just rotate. Warlord. Attack this guy straight out. Okay, and then let's get. Commander. Yeah, pylon can't quite get there. Let's get on the side. Everything into his side. Okay, he should be down here in a second. Let's give it to recoil. If you can actually hit here. There we go. There it is, folks. Game over. So another good mission. 244,000. Not bad. 
Um, we didn't get any penetrations here, so we should be okay. Bushwhacker's drawing an awful lot of attention, though. Devil's AC 20, so damage is 66. Bear between plus and minus 66. Plus 66% chance to deal a critical hit. Plus one accuracy, plus one evasion pips ignored. Single shot ballistic weapons. I don't know. Large laser triple plus, plus 10 damage, plus one. That's actually not bad. 38 heat though. Plus one accuracy. That might be better than the ER large laser. Well, no, it's actually more heat, but this marginally more damage. Um, medium laser triple plus, double plus PPC. Rotary arm kind of fives. 14 tons though. I don't know what we would put it on. Exchanger, let's put the, oh, heat banks too. Um, Solaris spikes. <sighs> so much good stuff here. Look at the ballistic. Ah, oh, energy, plus one energy, plus one ballistic, upper ballistic. Sorry, Devil's AC. Let's take this guy. Um, God, it's a good question here. What do we take? Don't really need the heat bank. I mean, a rotary AC5 would kind of be nice. But once again, what would I use it on, right? We can always find a place for it. Maybe on the Shadowhawk or something. I know we were planning on making a... Uh, that's actually pretty good, too. I know we were planning on making a meta, uh, melee mech out of the Shadowhawk, but... DNI cockpit. Really? Ugh. So many juicy things to take here. Solaris spikes would be nice, too, but I think that... If we're going to take anything, you should take the DNI cockpit. The minus 10% damage is pretty good. See, I want to dump the rack 5 now and take this PPC. But, because this is like half the weight. I know it does it does half the damage. A little under half, a little, yeah, a little under half the damage. But it's less heat, more stability. Like it's minus 1 accuracy though. Plasma lances. Wow, these would be nice on the uh, Wolverine. They're only three tons too. I mean, we're really not using the medium lasers. Ah, uh, what do we take? We don't have an immediate use for the Rack 5, but we do have a use for the Plasma Lance. Let's go that route and see what we get. Okay, so we got the Centurion part, Gladiator part, and Marauder 2 part. Nice. LBAC 2. Oh, we got the PPC and a Rotary 5. Nice. Plasma Rifle. Um, and then just pretty much junk after that. So, actually, we didn't make out too bad at all. All right, 100,000 in repairs. Little more than I thought it was going to be, but I mean, we have Heavy Pharaoh, I think, on the the Bushwhacker, and it took a lot of damage, so that's to be expected. 26 days is obviously not accurate. Let's manage our tasks a little bit here. Not worried about the Shadowhawk, but these guys, we want to get into the rotation earlier so that we finish them up earlier. Um, so 12 days, we give 11 days till financial report, so not much we can really do. Um, Yeah, so what we're going to do, I think, is probably shift systems at this point. 
Let's do that right now. Let's go to star map. Can you continue heading? I keep calling it north, but we're going to continue heading upwards. Uh, let's go to grass. That's where we're, we. This is where we went before when we fought the vehicles. Three and a half skull. These are all three and a half skull planets. Doesn't really matter. So, oh, Sudeten. Let's go here instead. It's quicker to get there. We'll get there as soon as our financial report's up. Set course. So we're good for cash uh, for this financial report. Um, and our main lance should be back the day after we get to this new planet. So I'm thinking what we should do is analyze what we want to do for the second lance. I want to try and get them all into mediums at least. We do have a few now that we can use. So that's good. The Firestarter 2C, I think, should stay in that lance. Uh, it's a really good mech. Um, we've got the Blackjack, got the Griffin, or sorry, the uh, Shadowhawk now, which is good. Um, and what else do we have? We have one. Am I thinking Hunchback? Is it? Oh, let's throw, throw a party. Yeah, man. Raider's birthday, eh? So, um, yeah, so we should have a, a half-decent lance to take on, you know, two, two-and-a-half skull missions. Unless, of course, it's a clan mission, then probably not. So 510,000. Let's accept. Let's have a look at the store. Yo, what's this one? Stability and heat. Uh, what else do we have? Triple plus large laser. Double plus LRM, eh. Nothing really we want. Uh, I'll worry about selling between episodes. Let's have a look at the mech bay right now. And see what we're going to lose here. So this spider's back. We can drop this into the storage bin. So I think the Jenner can probably get flushed out as well now. Um... It was quite good for the time, but now it just needs to go, I think. Um, we'll get the LRMs out of this guy. Uh, Artemis system. So we'll pull these out of this guy. XL gyro, XL engine. Cool. So we can use these on the uh, Shadowhawk once it's back into play here. And then we'll have the Blackjack, the Hunchback, Shadowhawk, and the Firestarter. And we'll leave the Spider in as a... Well, it's got the clan spike leg boots. Maybe we should take this guy out. Because if we're going to make the Shadowhawk a melee mech, then we're going to need these parts. So let's do that. Keep the two lances running. But at maximum efficiency, I think, is the goal here. So we've got three days. Or two days. Here we go. And let's have a look at the Shadowhawk now. Let's refit this guy. We're talking about making him a melee mech, so let's have a look. Um, okay, so we maxed his armor pretty much out. And equipment. Let's start off with an engine. We need a big engine here. Uh, we're going to need the Klein XL engine for sure. Probably going to want DNI cockpit, maybe? Melee hands, retractable blade. That's kind of cool. Um, spike leg boots we were talking about putting in here. Uh, definitely going to need the ECM. But let's put the Guardian in. Just put that in the CT for now. I want a big engine. And what's the weight on this? 19 and a half. 18 and, let's go with the 19 and a half. Let's go with the bigger one for now. Because um, we're mostly going to be melee equipment on this guy, so let's drop in the retractable blade, melee hands, and what else do we got here? Let's drop in the endo steel, stealth armor. Getting pretty good there. Still got lots of weight left. Hmm, spiked helmet maybe. I don't know, we want more melee damage? Well, we got tons of damage. 10, 20, another 40, like tons of percentages there. 
nothing else down there. So let's have a look at our supporting weapons. We have the hammer fist, three times twenty-five. So we could put another boomstick in. Like we could put a boomstick in this guy. Plasma lance. We could put the spike wrecking balls back in because they're only three tons for forty-five damage. Like we could go this route. We don't have any more support systems we can use. Missile launchers, ballistic, lasers. So, I mean, for that matter, we can go with a bigger engine too, right? What's the speed right now? 245, not that fast. What's the next biggest one here? 340, 280. Yeah, and then we got like only five tons left. We don't need much more than that. Like we're gonna be perfectly heat sink. This guy's gonna be just melee. Small heavy. Here, medium. Medium pulses. We could use a couple of these guys. One on each arm. But you gotta be really close for these, so... And they're high heat, unfortunately. Plasma rifle. Two times overheat damage. Heat 10. Actually, that's not bad. Because we got the fire starter too, right? You could do that. But that's only if we're meleeing, right? If we're not meleeing, I mean. If we do that and then just dro drop in like... A couple of medium lasers. I want to keep the... I want to keep ammo out of this. I was thinking about putting in like a machine gun or something. But I think keeping the ammo out of this is probably a good idea. So, if we go this route, I mean, we're not going to be firing the spike wrecking balls, so it's 20 heat off. So, we've got um, patchwork materials here, too, we could use to get a heat sink in this guy. Just like a regular heat sink. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. That's definitely a really good upgrade from the spider. And it's going to support the um, fire starter. Unless we use... Do we have any more flamers left? I guess we don't. Yeah. We could go this route, I think. Let's try this and see how it works. I'll probably be adjusting it later, but I'm gonna I'm liking the idea that these are here like 45 melee damage plus five additional base melee damage. Like melee is what? Base damage 55. Chassis quirk minus 27, really? Total damage 43. I guess because of the size of the chassis. Like it doesn't have any quirks on it, it's just a regular chassis. It's probably the weight. So let's confirm this. 122,000 to make some good money this month. Right. There's a couple of other minor adjustments I want to do before we finish up today. So let's have a look at the Zeus. And we're going to pull out the lower arm and add in our ballistic arm. 
Where are you? Upper Ballistic. It's going to help with the AC-20 hit. And then we've got... Uh, got the Clan Guardian ECM. Now, I was going to put... Um, I can put the Clan Endosteel in now. We used the stealth armor already, so we don't have that. So we've got three tons left over. So I think a couple things I want to do first is pull out two of these guys and put in, actually three of these guys, put an exchanger in. So now we've got super heat efficiency, I think. Yeah, we've got tons of heat efficiency now, so we can think about putting other weapons in. We do need a ton of AC ammo so I can fire without in, with impunity, just keep shooting all we want. So let's drop that in. Um, then let's do... So we've got... we still got laser hard points. And we've got, what, two tons left over? We could just straight up put a couple mediums in. Got hard points in the arms. What do we have for missile here? Do we have something that's a couple tons? that fires LRM ammo. This is shooting 12 though, so that's 10 turns. So anything that we add is going to add turns. This weighs how much? 7 tons. We got two clan LRM 20s. Is there a way we can change this around? Like what if we put two LRM... <laughs> like we could put the LRM 20s in here. Even a thermal boat launcher would be interesting. But these aren't doing too bad at all. What else do we have? We got an ATM 9 that's 5 tons, 18 heat though. Just going to see this for a second here. So that's our heating at really, really good. So we can pull out two of these guys, actually three, four, five, and go to equipment and grab our other exchanger. That looks pretty damn good to me. We need ammo, though. Uh, I hesitate to put it in the torso, but we got nowhere else to put it. And this doesn't use specialty ammo, does it? Cannot use special ammo or TTS. So it's just regular learn ammo. So that's increased heat sinking, increased punch. We're able to pull out all these heat sinks, which is great. I hate having all these heat sinks in there. End of steel. Wish we had Clan Pharaoh, but we don't. But that's fine. We can't get a cockpit in there, which is really frustrating me. Yeah, really frustrating me. Although if we get rid of the if we take the genera out of Circulation. It's still in circulation now. If we pull it out, we can take the upper arm actuator with the la missile launcher bonus, which would be good. So let's confirm this. Pull the generator circulation. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it in circulation. We're going to use it as a backup mech just in case. just in case. And I think we'll leave everything like this. So we're going to leave the episode here. When we come back next time, we'll have a look at what contracts we have on this planet, uh, finish up getting the Zeus ready to go, the Shadowhawk ready to go, pull off a couple of missions, I think, on this planet. Hopefully the, the uh, lighter lands can get in and do some good uh, mixing it up before the end of the month. I'm sure they can, uh, but we'll see. All right, so if you like the episode, please drop a like. Uh, please feel free to comment too. I really like that. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.